Now, welcome to the third part of the discussions on adjustment of closed traverse. So, if you missed to watch the first two parts, I would provide you the link and it can be found in the description below. So, please watch the first part and the second part of this discussion before um, proceeding to this uh, third part or before watching this video. Now, in this part of our discussion, we will try to solve the same data using transit rule now take note we are done already with compass rule i have discussed it already on the previous part of this discussion and now let's it's time now to use transit rule okay now in transit rule we have the formula which i have presented in my previous or in my first video the formula to compute for the correction of the latitude Using the transit rule, we have the, um, the error of closure along the latitude times the latitude of that traverse over the summation of the absolute value of the latitude. So all we need to do here is to follow this equation here. Okay, now in the second part, we have already computed the latitude and the departure for each traverse or for each line okay and we also um, determined the error of closure along the latitude which is negative 8.127 it is just the summation of the in the all the values of the latitude and the error of closure along the departure is 13.341 meters okay and we have found out that in latitude, we are deficit in time in terms of the length. Okay, we are lacking of 8.1 to 7 meter, and we have found out that along the departure side, so we have an exist length of 13.341 meters. Okay, so this is an exist. So we need to compute first the corrected latitude by using this. Um, expression now compute for the correction let's start from the traverse line a b so the correction of line a b is equal to the the error of closure in the latitude so we disregard the sign always we disregard the sign that is we have um, um, 8.127 now take note we have to add all the values of our latitude but we need to disregard the negative sign so if you add all these values without um, including the negative sign this would give us 974.521 meters the same as with departures you sum up the absolute value of the departure we have 1468.509 meters okay we will be using that value to compute for the correction for each latitude and departure okay so we have the value of our latitude here we have 355.69 that's for a b divided by the summation of the absolute value of the latitude which is 974.5 to one okay and the correction of our latitude a b is equal to 2.966 meters now for the correction of our um, latitude of bc line bc we have the same formula 8.127 times um, the latitude which is 47.641 this value here over the summation 974.521 this gives us 0 0.397 meters for cd so we have the latitude of cd which is 443.683 divided by 974.521 we have 3.7 meters now for the latitude correction for DA we have which is 1.063 okay so we can now compute the corrected latitude we have for AB 
we have the latitude which is 355.69 now take note we have negative error of closure therefore we have lacking length or kulang ang ating length so therefore we should sum up or we should add the corrections to our latitude okay so 355.69 plus 2.966 this gives us 358.656 meters for BC we have the latitude which is negative 47.641 plus the error of BC which is 0 0.397 this gives us negative 47.244 meters now for CD we have negative 443.683 plus the error which is 3.7 this would give us negative 439.983 meters lastly for DA the latitude length is 127. 507 then you add the correction 1.063 this gives us 128.57 meters to check if your calculation is correct then you need to sum up um, the corrected latitude and it should be equal to zero okay so if not then you have to review baka may namali ka lang so we have the summation and this equals to zero so therefore we have eliminated the error of closure and now let's compute for the corrected departure using again transit rule so to compute for the correction using transit rule we have the correction of the departure is equal to the error of closure on the departure times the departure distance over the summation of the absolute value of the departure distance okay so let's start from AB. So we have AB, the correction in a departure of AB, this is equal to the correction or the error of closure in the departure, we have 13.341 times the departure of AB, which is 97.306 over the summation of the departure, which is 1468.509. This gives us 0 0.884 meters. It's the correction. Now, for departure of BC correction, we have 13.341 times 643.619 divided by 1468.509. This gives us 5.847 meters. Now, for correction of the departure on CD, we have 13.341 times the departure, which is 148.454 divided by 1468.509. This gives us 1.349 meters. Now, for DA, we have... 13.341 times the length, we have 579.13 over 1468.509. This gives us 5.261 meters. Okay, now let's compute now the corrected departure. Okay, so we have um, line AB. The departure length is 97.306. Now, take note, we have an excess of 13.341 since that's positive. So, therefore, we subtract the correction. So, we have minus the correction of AB, which is 0 0.884. And this gives us 96.422 meters. For BC, we have the departure length, which is 643.619 minus the correction which is 5.847 and this equals to 637.772 meters for cd we have 
Um, the length of the departure, which is negative 148.454, you include the sign. Then we minus the correction, which is 1.349. This gives us negative 149.803 meters. And lastly, we have DA. We have here um, negative 579.13, this length here minus the correction which is 5.261 this gives us negative 584.391 meters now if you want to check if our calculation is correct so again this should sum up to zero so let's try to check and the answer here is zero so we have eliminated the error Okay, so we can now compute the corrected distance by Pythagorean theorem. The corrected distance here is basically equal to the square root of the corrected departure squared plus the corrected latitude squared. Okay, so by using this equation, we have here um, distance of AB is equal to square root of um, 358.656 squared plus 96.422 squared. These are all corrected value. This would give us 98.264 meters. 371.391 meters. For BC, distance BC, we have square root of the corrected latitude. We have negative 47.244 squared plus 637.422. 772 squared 636.02 meters similarly by using the same formula we have the distance of cd is equal to 464.786 and the distance of line da is 598.367 meter okay so these are corrected distance now let's proceed to the computation of corrected bearing now, for the bearing, again, we have the beta is equal to arc tangent of the departure over the latitude. Again, these are all absolute values. Okay? So, we have for bearing AB, we have arc tangent of the departure. We have the corrected 96.422 divided by the latitude. We have 300. 58.656 we have here 15 degrees 2 minutes and 51.89 seconds okay now take note our latitude here is positive for a b that means the direction is north and the departure is positive as well therefore that's east so therefore our bearing is with is along northeast direction okay for our bearing BC we have arc tangent of the departure we have 637.772 over the latitude we have 47.244 this would give us 85 degrees 45 minutes and 48.45 seconds now look at the bearing look at the latitude we have negative latitude so therefore this is on the south direction we have positive departure therefore this is in east direction so we have a southeast so we have here um, south now for Angle CD, we have 18 degrees, 48 minutes, and 8.64 seconds. The direction is, since we have a um, negative latitude, so therefore this one is south, and negative departure, therefore that's west. For um, bearing of DA, we have um, 77 degrees. 35 minutes and 31.95 seconds so the direction is since our latitude here corrected latitude is positive so therefore that's north and the corrected departure is negative therefore this one is west so we have northwest 
And that ends our discussion on adjustment of closed traverse. So we have discussed um, two rules. Now in uh, in adjusting closed traverse, we have compass rule and we have transit rule. Now compass rule was discussed in the second part of this discussion. Again, guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the notification bell. Thank you guys for listening and see you in my next videos.